In this video, I will show you what I was capable to do using the add-on grass blade. So, if you don't know, grass blade is an add-on that you can use to distribute grass and vegetation, rocks, pebbles, and things like that on your scene in Blender. So, you can see that this add-on comes with a huge library of stuff, a proxy, a proxy system that you can use to optimize your viewport. It's really, really amazing. And also, it's good to know that you can use this asset library on Scatter, which is great because Scatter is just amazing. Anyway, you can see more about this tool in the Blender Market website, but now I would like to show what I was capable to do with it, okay? So this is the first scene that I create. Uh, it took me about half an hour to make this scene because uh, this object here I just import for a SketchUp file that I found on the internet. So I just uh, set up some materials and call it a day. And for the vegetation it was about half an hour just mess up with buttons and figuring out how this tool works, which was amazing to discover, with, discover because it's really artist friendly. So you can see that a little bit of effort and trying out a little bit of those libraries that you can see here. I just select one of those libraries in this case and done, <laughs> basically that. I added a little bit of rocks in this scene just to make things more interesting and done. Basically, what I have here is two vertex groups in this field here. So you can see that I have a vertex group for the rocks and a vertex group for the vegetation, for the grass itself. And basically that, it's just that. <laughs> the rest, the add-on will take care for you. So the distribution of particles you can set up, you can set up a little bit, a little bit of the scale, the rotation, transformations and things like that. So this is the first result that I got. So let me show you the rendering without post-production for this scene, which is great. It's, it's just amazing. So the second one, I tried to make something more greenish, I think more alive, more like a green field of grass and a little bit of rocks here and there. So the final result was this one here. Uh, I added here two different systems. The first system was a grass system, which uh, you can see that is bringing those green stuff, that those green plants on our scene. And the second one was a system that comes with a lot of rocks that you can find here on the rock grounds, I think. I believe it is. <laughs> I think it is one of those, maybe this or this one here, I don't really remember. But I know that I select one of those and added with another grass field and this is the final result that I got in this scene. So let me show you the final rendering without post-production for this example. This is the final result. You can see that it's really, really compelling. It's just amazing. <laughs> it's just amazing. The quality is really good. So let's try another one. In this case here, I use it uh, more like a dry with some rocks, a dry grass with some rocks and things like, and things like that. It's a little bit different for the first one because I removed this, those trees, but convey the same idea, the idea of dryness, the idea of a uh, rocky field with more like a uh, mountain feeling, I don't know. But it's just one system that I click and call it a day. <laughs> it's basically that. I think I took five minutes in this scene here, and this is the result, which is crazy to think because, whoa, I, I almost don't need it to think about it. I don't know if this is correct. I should find more ref reference to make this look better, but it's amazing to see that in five minutes I could got something like that. The final rendering for without for post-production for this example here is this one which you can see that it's gorgeous, it's amazing. And the final one uh, was a scene that I was trying something different. So I just click here in open library and I find some of those flower, flowers and uh, I just think, well, let's add some flowers. And this is the result, as you can see, a huge field of flowers with a small problem, you will find in a, in a moment, just wait for it. <laughs> That you can see that some flowers are growing through this rock here, which is just dumb. So, well, let's delete this rock, which does not make any sense in this composition anyway. So you can see that we have these flowers and make things really gorgeous, actually. It's really beautiful to see. And the final rendering without post-production for this scene is this one. But you can see that it's really amazing to see how you can get so much quality for so less effort. In the case of this asset library. So those are the results that I could got with grass blades and I, I really like those results. I think with a little bit more effort and a little bit more time, I could get something even better than that because it took for me five to 10 minutes 
for some of the scenes and a half an hour for the first scene which is crazy to think and if you want to get this tool the link is in the description below so click the link in the description below to get this tool and really make things easier for your life when you are working with architectural visualization or landscape okay thanks for watching subscribe and all that stuff and i see you in our next video bye see you soon and take care